Welcome everyone to the SEC on ESPN. From Davis Wade Stadium in Starkville, Mississippi, the first conference road test for the number eight Auburn Tigers taking on the Bulldogs of Mississippi State. Folks, the key word tonight, defense, and we have lots of it. Fitzgerald got rid of it, picked off at midfield. Jeremiah Dinson, one of the leaders on defense. Boy, it looked like that hit him right between the two and the zero. It was intended for Osiris Mitchell. That's the second interception of the year for Dinson, number 20. Gonna have eyes on the quarterback the entire time. He gets to his spot right in the throwing lane for Nick Fitzgerald. Outstanding job. Hill in motion. Fitzgerald keeps it. He got in. No. No signal. Touchdown. Now they give it to him. Boy, Nick Fitzgerald put his hat down, Dusty. You mentioned it. That's big boy football. Well, you knew it had to go to him, right? I mean, Nick Fitzgerald, six foot five, 240, 235 pounds, right at the line, of, right at the goal line. Big hit by Jeremiah Denson. Let's see if Simmons or Sweat factor in on this play defensively for Mississippi State. Handed off to Whitlow. Great play, still on his feet. Booby spinning. The ball comes loose. Bulldogs recover. And it looks like a touchback. Or is it a touchdown? We're going to take another look at this. My question is, did he cross the plane before the ball came out? Obviously, they're saying no. Ball came out first. Whitlock. Oh. I thought he was in the end zone from that angle. He grabs the ball. He tries to stretch it over the goal line. The ruling on the field is that the runner fumbled the ball prior to crossing the goal line. The defense recovered the ball in the end zone, resulting in a touchback. I think it's going to be a touchdown. I think that's going to be a touchdown. I mean, to me, it looks like he's possessing the football as he's taking it forward. He was shifting the ball, Dusty, the to play put it out. Was on the further review. Tough to tell where he is relative to the goal line, Derek. When he goes to extend the football, and he's kind of shifting hands, right. does he have full possession of the football? I think, that's, I think that's the question at hand. So as he goes to extend this football, yeah, that's where it came loose. But is he already over the goal line at that right. point? Well, the replay officials taking a good look at this one for obvious reasons. Second time tonight, we've had plays right at the goal line. I mean, when we slow it down right there, it looks like he crosses, but I guess my question is, as he goes to his right to his left, is that ball already coming out? I think that's what's going to be in question here. <laughs> After looking at it several times, it feels like it's going to be similar to the play when the half concluded. Right. But they're going to stick with the call in the field because it is that close. And the call in the field is a fumble recovery Correct. by Mississippi State for a touchback. Yep. Oh, and he dropped it. Whitlock dropped it incomplete. And fourth and seven. And they had it set up. Running back screen, two linemen were out in front. That's really been what's really aided this Auburn offense in the second half. The screens, both running backs, we've seen a, a, a tight end. We've also seen the wide receivers. And he's running with the football before he has it. You gotta look that ball yeah. in. And he had blockers out in front. Set up a crucial fourth down. Yeah, they're going for it here. Stidham giving time. Backside heat. Incomplete. And the Bulldogs take over on downs. 
Smitherman knocked it down. Well, Bob Shoup said, I'm going to bring pressure all night long. He has not changed anything. We're going to get the corner coming. We're going to get a linebacker coming. They're bringing pressure from all over the place. It's who they are. It's what they do. Chris Rayford gets the hit on Stidham, and Smitherman gets the left hand in for a big-time pass breakup. Thomas in motion. Fitzgerald keeps it. A fitting end to the night. Nick. Quick touchdown, 21 yards. Well, that's the exclamation point for Nick Fitzgerald and for Mississippi State. Backs were against the wall. They had to have a win, and they told us, we got to get back to playing physical, being able to run the football. They've done that and some here tonight, partner. Well, let's take a look at a play that's been so successful tonight for this offense, okay? We're gonna pull the guard, we're gonna get Kylan Hill out in front, it's gonna be a simple quarterback counter, block it up, and Nick Fitzgerald sees the hole, breaks one tackle, and it's off to the races. Physical blocking all night. Nick Fitzgerald's gonna get talked about as well he should, but this offensive line, Elton Jenkins, Deion Calhoun, Greg Island, Stuart Reese, these guys had quite the challenge against this big, bad Auburn front seven, and they brought physicality from the moment go tonight, and it's been all throughout this entire game. Outstanding job on the ground tonight for this Mississippi State offense. Mississippi State, as they win it 23 to nine, and snap their two game losing streak. Coach earning his first conference victory. Auburn, the third top 10 team to fall today. It was that type of Saturday in college football. That's the appetizer for October. Yes, sir. Man, I can't wait for the, <laughs> the full course. <laughs>